Previously on In Search of the Lost Treasure, Myron made it snow in July in hopes that this would unlock the treasure chest. Ooh, whoa! Wow. Oh. Whoa. What just happened there? I don't know. I was cold. Hey. Oh, hey, Myron. You made it snow. You think it'll open? Let's try it out. Maybe it'll open. <laughs> Cactus. What? What are you doing with a toaster around your neck? I don't know, Myron. They sent me right here, and then uh, I appeared, and, and I, had a, I have a toaster. Let's see if it works. I don't know. I'll have to plug it in. Cactus, you idiot. I'm not talking about the toaster. Oh. I'm talking about this. Okay. You ready? Ready, right, Myron. This, you think it will work? I don't know, Myron. I'm getting nervous about this. It snowed. It uh, should. It okay. should work. Let's try it out. Hey. Hey, Pastor. There's Pastor. Oh, hey. Hey. I'll do it. Hey, Myron. Good to see you, Pastor. Hey, Cactus. Hey, Pastor. Hey, what are you doing with a toaster around your neck, Cactus? You know, Pastor, we just talked about that. They put me here, and then I had this. N thing. Never mind, Pastor. You got, a, you got a sermon for everybody here? You know what? In just a few moments, I'm going to ask the Lord to help me. Yes, I hope Good. to hope to be able to share God's word in a few moments. Thanks the Lord. Hey, what, what's that other book you got there? Oh, uh, that's kind of embarrassing. I didn't know I had this with me. This is a little book I have in my office that I was going to probably read it to our daughter Lacey tonight. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It's okay. Oh, wait a minute, Pastor. Did you say story? Could you read us a story? Cactus! Well, it's, a, it's for little kids. Well, sorry, Pastor. It's okay. No problem. Is, is, it, a, is it a good story? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a good story. I think, I think she'll enjoy it. Story! 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 Uh, you want me to read it to yeah. you? Yeah! Uh, all right, well... <laughs> <laughs> Love story. Well, this is a story of the of the handsome prince. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, uh, wait a minute, Pastor. What are uh, what are all those little dots and? Well, marks? those are those are punctuation marks. Huh. Yeah. Punctuation. Oh, yeah. Oh. Punctuation marks. When they come up with that? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yep. Like like this one the, right here. That, that yeah. Just like a dollar. <laughs> yeah, that's a period. That's a, a period. Period. Yeah, I don't know if it's, but oh, okay. it is. Yeah, it's a period. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What's this little? Looks like ears. Ear. Oh, uh, no, that's a quotation mark. Yeah, quotation wow. mark. Wow. Okay, and then there's another one, that little guy that... Right there, see uh, him? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a comma. A that's comma. That's a comma, yeah. Cool. Yeah, wait, comma. Wait, oh, and, and, and this little thing that goes... Wee! Yeah, and it has a... On the, oh. on the bottom. Uh, yeah, that, that's a question mark. Question, question mark? Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, there's one more. Yeah. It's, it goes... Oh, yeah, exclamation mark. That's Excellent. Cool. Yeah, so that's okay. Cool. Know. You Man, I'm going to start reading. This, this uh, is a fun story. Yeah, well, let me just, we haven't got to the story yet, Cactus, but uh, yeah. Come on, let's Cactus. try going let's to the tell story. The story. Tell now, the story. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Well, once upon a time... <laughs> you okay, man? Well, that, that, was, that was the comma. Oh, okay. You want to keep doing that, probably? Just kind of <laughs> follow along here. Here we go. Once upon a time, uh, there was a handsome prince named... The handsome prince? The handsome prince, there. yeah. Uh, he was not timid about saying, Ew. I am the handsome prince. Ew. Uh, and of course, there was also a fair young maiden named... The fair young maiden? No, no. Ethel was her name. Ethel. <laughs> she was fond of saying... I am the fair young maiden? No, no, no. She was fond of saying, no. When do we eat? They both loved each other very much. But alas, Ethel's mother did not like the handsome prince. What's the problem? Cried the handsome prince. I love her with all my heart. It's not your love that I question. <laughs> Ethel's mother replied, <laughs> It's your age that I question. You're still in the seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> to which, that sounds like junior high noises there. <laughs> to which Ethel commented, <laughs> I'll wait for you, my handsome prince. <laughs> So, ten years later, they were married. <laughs> then, the handsome prince said, 
Ethel, you're twice the woman you used to be. <laughs> to which she replied, <laughs> Thank you. When do we eat? <laughs> and finally, the quote, the famous ending of all fa famous fairy tales, <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Ah, well, that was a good story, well, Pastor. Thanks for letting me share Thank it with you. you. Thank you, Pastor. That, uh, that was a mistake, but that was all right. <laughs> hey, uh, you want us to come to your house tonight and help you read it to your daughter? I think I'll be just oh. fine without that. Thank you very much. I don't offer. What were we doing? What's that? Oh, wait a minute, Cactus. What? Before we do anything else with this, you're going to have to get that stupid thing around, off around your neck. Myra, why are you bossing me around? I mean, you just... When you come out here with your guitar, I don't say, before we do anything else, you're going to take that guitar off around your neck. That's because the guitar serves a purpose. A toaster serves a purpose. The guitar is for music. For our songs. Well, Myron, a toaster could be a, could be a musical instrument. Seriously, Cactus? Well, yeah. A toaster makes toast. It's not a musical instrument. Oh, yeah? It can be a musical instrument, Myron. Okay, you're going to stick with that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, let's hear you play something on your toaster then. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, maybe I will. No, I'm. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. kidding. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what's the name of the song you're going to play on your toaster? Uh, yeah. Toast. Yeah. Toast. Y yeah. Toast. All right. Let's hear yeah. Toast. Okay, Myron. Yeah, toast. All around the country, from coast to coast. People always ask what I like most. I don't want to brag. I don't want to boast. I just tell them I like toast. I get up in the morning around 6 a.m. Have a little jelly, have a little jam. Get a piece of bread and put it in the slot. Push down the lever and the wires get hot. I get toast. Yeah, toast! Go toast! There's no secret to toasting perfection. There's a dial on the side, just make your selection. Turn it to the brown or the light, and then if it pops too soon, just push it down again and make toast. Yeah, toast! Go, toast! For many years now, I've been a booster for the browning of bread inside a toaster. <laughs> if it gets burnt, I start hollering. Because don't you know I'm black toast intolerant? <laughs> Burnt toast! Beep, 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 smoky toast! Oui, oui, mon cher, parlez-vous français? Jacques Cousteau, la Jacques Bawa. And Le Monet and Eiffel Tower. France toast! Cactus, I've got to admit, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Really, Myron? Hey, right. Myron. Let's open the box, Myron. I think Come so. I'm Time gonna, to open the box. I'm going to get lynched here. Okay. All right, Myron. Well, you made it snow. You think it's going to open? Okay, Myron. I'll here we you. go. Go ahead. Go ahead. But what about the curse? What curse? Well, the curse, Myron. The curse of dirty bricker, bracker, pack, alone, bacha, 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 slatter. I didn't know about that curse. You didn't know about the curse? No. <clears throat> well, Myron, Horatio Higginbotham, as soon as he found the treasure, he was never heard from again. He perished. 
It's the curse of dirty bricker bracker pack alarm bacha bacha slatter up. I thought you knew all about that. No, it's the first I've heard of it. Oh. Man, I'm glad you told me that. You may have saved my life, Cactus. Oh, you're welcome, Byron. Here, you open it. Is there actually a curse on anyone who opens the treasure of dirty bricker bracker pacalomer blacha blacha slatter it? Does anyone care about the curse? Don't we all just want to see what's in the box already? Does Cactus really speak French? Will Pastor Wilkerson add punctuation sound effects tonight when he reads the bedtime story to his kids? Find out in the next episode of In Search of the Lost Treasure!